When, when our kids finally left home, uh, Darcy did specific things with the girls. And with the boys, what I did is I, 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 had, I made a, I, I like carpentry work and my kind of my hobby is woodwork. And so I went and I made a box, a kind of a special box and, and uh, stained it and made it really nice looking. And it wasn't real big. And in it, it had three items in it. And, and, then, with, and, and then three little cards that had verses on it. And, and uh, the first thing in there was a set of work gloves. And then I had a, a verse that went with that. And it, and it just talked about hard work and it, how uh, as you leave and you go out, you're going to do so much better in life if you know how to work hard, you're not afraid to work hard. And we have prepared you to be able to do that. And these symbolize part of your future, that you're going to go out there and be a hardworking young man. And then, and then we gave them a, a carpenter's uh, ba- uh, level, and, and, and it was all about living a balanced life. And you know the best way to live a balanced life is live a gracious, grace-based life where you're guided by God's truth and you're tempered by His grace. And this helps in all the relationships. And then the, the last thing we gave them was a, um, a compass like you need out in the woods. And, and this talked about a moral compass. And so what you want to do is go through life and you want to go through life and you want, you want to always make sure your life is aimed at true north, at Jesus Christ. You want to keep your focus on Him. And then he will guide you as you take on all the battles and, and the issues of life. And uh, there were just some, some symbols, and Darcy had different ones for the girls that she used. But just putting some forethought into it. Now, all I've said about rite of passage, about 16, about things like this, they mean nothing if these are just events that don't have a context that backs them up. See, if we're not deliberate about raising our kids and raising them in a gracious environment, guided by God's truth, tempered by His grace, ongoing, these things just become almost like artificial, cosmetic things that they wonder, why did you do this? It doesn't make any sense. But when they're in the bigger context, then these things actually have impact. They, they become the great symbols. Because think of, think, think of in Isaiah where God said, I'm sick of all your sacrifice. I'm sick of all this. stuff Because they were doing it without meaning it because their lives didn't back it up. But when our lives, the bigger context in our marriage or in our role as parents or our kids is consistent on that, then these things have great impact in their life. Uh, both of my boys still have that box, have their symbols in it, and, 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 and they look forward to doing something similar for their kids.